Hello YouTube and welcome Diecast family. Today, today we have two really awesome sets. I've been waiting for a year or two to do this video. I don't know why I kept putting it off. Might be because this Porsche set is worth so much, but I bought this Porsche set four or five years ago and uh, I've never cracked it open. It has rubber bands in it, so you know, shame on me for not cracking it open and getting the rubber bands off. Uh, it was so old when I purchased it, though. Uh, the damage is already done, but uh, it's time to crack it open. And then after this set came out, I really wanted to do this video of who did it better, Hot Wheels 100% or Car Culture. We're going to find out, but I already know. And if you guys are familiar with the Hot Wheels 100%, then you already know. So, let me set up the camera, and uh, we'll crack both these open. Uh, we're going to... Uh, we'll probably crack open the Hot Wheels 100% first, then we'll do the... No, we're going to do the Hot Wheels uh, car culture first, and then we'll do the Hot Wheels 100%. So, let's go ahead and get get cracking and also if you're not subscribed please hit the subscribe button i'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers if we can get there then i'll be giving away this super treasure hunt so help me get to 5,000 subscribers this is my favorite super treasure hunt i absolutely love this car so as soon as i found out this was a super this was a first car when i started collecting that i went to eBay to buy uh, first super treasure hunt. Of course, uh, if you watched my last video, you know the first Hot Wheels car I went to eBay to buy was the Ken Block Ford Fiesta. So it's funny how I remember the first two cars I got. And uh, we got this cool stunt zone behind us. Uh, my daughter gave me this for Christmas. Pretty awesome. Uh, it will go on the door of my die cast room so thought I show it on a video before I actually hang it up and yes I still have my Ken Block car set up I just haven't been able to put them away uh, they might be out for a while I kind of like looking at them so definitely not selling them I I consider myself lucky that I already had them uh, if you've been watching eBay, that car and the white variation right there are selling between uh, $125 and $150. So before his death, they were like $11 to a $15 car. Uh, just then I got the my customs and everything else I've made over the years. I've considered hurry up and pump out some customs and put on eBay, but I... Uh, I don't know if I will. I already had all these Ford Fiestas and stuff painted up. I already purchased the decals and stuff. I just, I never got around to uh, making them, but all of them were going to be Ken Block Customs. I mean, I, so, but let's go ahead and get this cracked open. So let me reset up the camera and All right, all these ones look pretty easily attached. Look like just got some rubber bands around the axles, so they don't look like they'll be too difficult to crack open. So I guess that's a good thing about car culture. They don't have no rubber bands or nothing, and the only rubber bands are around the axles that hold them. So if you're a carded collector, this is a nice set to get because you don't have to crack them open and get any rubber bands off. Of course, if there was opening features, they probably would put rubber bands on them, but none of these ones have the opening features. So the next one in the set after the hauler, which is an all right hauler. I could care less for the haulers. They take up too much room. I'd rather have another car. My opinion. But they're kind of neat. 
So the first one's going to be a Jaguar lightweight E type in like a Z Mac paint. Get real riders, full detail. I don't think this set ended up selling for a whole bunch. There might have been like some hype to it at first. But I think the hype fastly died down. I could be wrong. I have no idea. I, I did not look this up on eBay to see the current listing or prices on it. But I, I don't think it's an expensive one. Like the Nissan one, I know it was a big peg warmer, uh, but I still think it sells. The Fast and Furious one is one that's a big money maker. I think the Nissan one might not be. Uh, the all black fifty five, or the all black gasser one that kind of sells for pretty decent money, I think. But a lot of these box sets, they made so many of them, they didn't really go up in price. Of course, this is a highlight right here this golf racing what is this uh porsche i don't know it's a 1998 is that the casting when the casting came out it doesn't say what it is so the is this casting from 1998? It might be. The car might be a 98 too. It's in the Gulf Racing. I'd like to say it's a Porsche. Does it tell us anywhere? Oh, yeah, it does. Porsche 917KH. So it does tell us all of them right there. And that's just a carry-on. That's it. Not a licensed vehicle. And that's another reason I don't really care for the haulers. They're not licensed vehicles. It'd be different if they were licensed vehicles. But you're going to throw a fantasy hauler in there that takes up a bunch of room. And I mean room in your collection if, you, if you're a loose collector like I am. Because they don't fit in a jammer. So it's hard to find somewhere to store them and put them on a shelf they end up on a shelf then you end up with 10 15 of them lined up on the shelf i mean it's and the last one is going to be the mercedes-benz 300 sl which is a pretty cool car And now, now we're going to get into this Porsche, Hot Wheels Porsche set, which any Hot Wheels Porsche from the Black Box 100% series, which this is part of the Black Box 100% series. Manufacturer Series number one. Multi-piece vehicles from first run tool. So, look around on the box real quick. Not going to destroy the box or nothing. These screw into the base, so the, I like to store them in these, so the cars will go back in this and be stored. Uh, if you look this up on eBay, it's quite a valuable set. They usually sell for over a hundred bucks. I've seen them sell for almost two hundred. So, and this one's in really, really good condition. Came out in nineteen ninety eight. So ninety eight freaking Hot Wheels was already freaking killing it, killing it. Like these are like the best cars that Hot Wheels has ever made. The Hot Wheels hundred percent. And the only reason I'm cracking this open. Just to get them damn rubber bands off. No 
hopefully my M2 screwdriver works, but uh, for some reason, I, I don't know if it was 100% or something Hot Wheels came out with, and the screws were just a really weird, odd size. They were a Phillips screw, but they didn't like properly fit any, any screwdriver, the head on them. It was really weird. And they were put on so tight. I think I have one somewhere that I was never able to unscrew off the base. So unlike the old ones, only the sleeve is plastic. Or unlike the new one where it's just a cardboard box. The old one, you get a cardboard sleeve. And then you get the plastic uh, display. And all the cars are screwed in. With Phillips screws. Be really careful when I take this top off. Just because if you open up your M2s or anything that come in these plastics, uh, sometimes they like to freaking flop. The top, when it pops off, it likes to fly off sometimes or pop off dramatically and break stuff. So just always be careful. And that figures I can't even find an M2 screwdriver right now. Oh, there it is. Hopefully this works. And yes. Almost there. And I think, I don't know if all these have opening detail. But a lot of the 100% do have opening features. Uh, the first one, this Porsche. Which has a rubber band on it and a plastic piece inside of it. Do you look at that? Right back there, there's a big fat rubber band and a yellow plastic piece that's holding this open. I'll wait until after the video to remove that. Unless the rubber band just easily falls off, I'm going to wait until after the video. I might put a little bit of some kind of like oil or something on the rubber band let it the rubber band soak up the oil before removing it because the rubber bands are really dry and they're dried on to the paint so that's why sometimes they'll pull paint off so maybe if I can re-moisten which somebody one of my viewers recommended if I can re-moisten the rubber band before removing it maybe even just a little water the worst part about these sets and you'll find them at flea markets and stuff and uh, they've sat out in the sunlight for years and that rubber band is just freaking cooked on there so the Porsche here is a worse one with the rubber band going all the way down the side. But it wasn't stuck on at all. You can see how dry and crispy and flimsy these are. They break like a hard pasta noodle. But the, the amount of detail. We have a 
leather steering wheel, black seats. Do we have any? No, no painted detail on the dashboard, but the spare tire, you have leather straps over it. Just unreal amount of detail that they put into these castings. So it screws on. They drilled and threaded the rivet. And that's how it screws on to the base. That is pretty cool. So the next one is going to be, I think, a Porsche 911. Which I think this. Johnny Lightning did a Porsche. Back probably around this time, 98 or the early 2000s, that sells for a ton of money. That's hard to find, and it sells for like 75 to 100 bucks. And I almost feel like this Hot Wheels can compete with it. I mean, just look at the amount of detail on this Porsche. You know what, I think, let me see. I thought I had the Johnny Lightning. Yep, I do, I got it. Oh no, I'm wrong. This is another Hot Wheels, 100%. It's the same car we have. Whoa, don't wanna drop that. So there's two different color variations of the same Hot Wheels 100%. This is the Johnny Lightning. And I can tell you right now, the Johnny Lightning does not have detail like these do. The Johnny Lightning is larger. So I would almost be willing to bet the Hot Wheels is more 164th than the... Well, I can look right down here because these are all true 164th, I think. Right here is a true 164th Porsche, and I, I, it is more the size of this. So the Hot Wheels might run a little small. And this is a badass Porsche. This is a Kyosho. So... Awesome, awesome freaking Porsche there. Look at the detail on them rims. Holy crap. Damn. Nope, why not? Here's another good one. Just staring at me down there in the drawer. Man, look at the detail on that tarmac works. Holy crap. Now these cars you can get for like 20 bucks. Or, or less. The Kyosho... This particular Jägermeister one might be sold out. You might not be able to find it. I, I have no idea what the price is. But you can find a Tarmac Works Porsche for right around 20 bucks or less. Uh, might not be that exact one. Kyosho Porsches you can find, uh, I don't know, 35 45 bucks, But uh, not this exact one. This is a pretty hard one to get, so... Uh, but they do have other variations of it that are cheaper and easier to find. So let's get back to this. We got two more Porsches. The next one's going to be the Golf. Probably the highlight of the set. But I mean, these Porsches are so well done. How can you not say any one of them is a highlight? I mean, that that's one of the best 164th Porsches I have. Unlike the other ones I just showed you from the other brands, they don't really have too many factory variations of it. They're all custom variations. So luckily, I don't think I see any rubber bands anywhere on this one. But yet the back opens. All right. 
Maybe it fell off. Look at the detail under that one. Holy cow. And a lot of the Hot Wheels 100%. They really did go out all out with the detail. Just completely all out. Look at the exhaust. Man. Definitely glad to have this in the set. Or in the collection, but... engine detail all the way down to the spare tire holy cow so hands down this one is better detail under it this one looks like it's held together with a phillips screw then it has a rivet in the front. Oh, the Phillips, that might, the back section might be separate. Wow. And here's the new one. Does not open up. Oh, look at that. They really cheaped out there. They're going to put a plastic. Really? Look at the old one. It has a window. You can see through it. See the air intake. And this one, they put a piece of plastic. Man, the paint on this one looks better. It's uh, more of a satin color. The interior on this looks big and I don't know. Just looks goofy being yellow or uh, I mean uh, chrome. <laughs> the, the interior and the other one's black. Look at that. No detail underneath, not like the other one. They both have lens headlights, so that's surprising. Nothing else in that car culture set had plastic headlights, so at least at least Hot Wheels kept the plastic headlights when they redid it. I think the detail on the hundred percent on the just the rear tail lights and stuff's better. Only thing the car culture one has going for it's that extra decal in the middle. Kind of like the orange stripe better on the car culture. Not going to lie. No matter what, I'm happy to have them both in the collection. And I'm happy to be able to make this video for you guys and share them with you. Yeah, I, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I wish Hot Wheels would re-release a 100% line, a premium line. Uh, charge, put them in a black box, charge 15 bucks a car. Uh, they'd be, have something out there competing with Mini GT and... Uh, uh, Tarmac Works and other companies like that. If they put them in a plastic box like this. Made premium detail cars like these. I think when these came out, the single ones that came in the black boxes. I think they were 10 to 15 bucks. These cases, these I think were like 44 bucks or something. I could be wrong. Comment down below. But I think these cards averaged at least 10 to 20 bucks each when they came out. So they were not cheap cars when they came out. They weren't like buying the Green Light or the Auto Rolled or the Johnny Lightnings of today. Which ain't nothing wrong with them. Uh, they're 164th, true 164th and at a decent cost. And I absolutely love collecting all them cars, but... It's just something about these 100% that just are different. I mean, look at the dashboard detail. You got air vents, steering wheel, a rear view mirror. Come on. 
Freaking awesome. This one does not have opening features, but we do get lensed headlights with it. So the only 100% that did not have the lensed headlights was the 911. Awesome, awesome detail under it, once again. Well, this video ended up being a lot longer than I expected. Then I expect it to go 25 minutes. I guess the 911 and the first one, neither of them have lens headlights, so just the last two. But comment down below. Let me know which set you think is better, who did it better. Uh, this 100% set could have been like 32 bucks or something, which I... What was the Hot Wheels one in the store? Like 24 or something? So they were definitely cheaper, I think. I, man. The freaking 911 just looks so good. Really, really got lucky with these. Had none of the rubber bands did any damage. Of course, I still got one left to remove. But it's underneath the trunk anyway, so... Any damage is going to be minimal. And over the engine and the tire, you got a piece of plastic protecting it from the rubber band. So I think it's going to be all right. So for me, I think it's going to be all right. Definitely happy to add that Porsche to the golf collection, though. So let me know which one's your favorite. And as always, have an awesome day, and thanks for watching.